Hey guys, I'm Zen and welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be sharing with you my collection of exotic animal figurines. So let's get right into it. I'll be sharing some facts with you as well. So let's go. Okay, so let's begin. Let's take a look at our first animal of the day. I think this one right here is actually a mandrill. And here we have a Komodi bear figure. Looks really nice. You can actually see like the fur which is nicely detailed this figure looks fantastic i love this a lot you can even see like the paws are nicely done even like the claws next we have an orangutan this orangutan figure has been with me for like a couple of years and orangutans they are actually very gentle and very intelligent primates moving on we have a gibbon this is a monkey a primate and they are able to swing from um, trees to trees at really fast speed they are super agile and they can jump really far as well next we have a giant panda figure but this is actually like a panda cop so pandas were once vulnerable like critically endangered they were like endangered back in the past but right now i think the population is slowly slowly growing back and here we have a koala. They can be found in many countries such as um, Australia and New Zealand. Here we have a sloth. Sloth are really slow moving animals. And this sloth figure, it's a, a pretty old one as well. We got this like a couple of years back. And this one right here is actually a Tasmanian devil. Yes, I've never seen a Tasmanian devil before. I know that they are quite ferocious animals and here we have a little wolf figure it's really nice and this one right here it's a beautiful little bird known as a token you can see the beak is like so beautiful plenty of colors on it and here we have a lemur let's take a look at some facts about the lemur a female lemur carries a newborn in her mouth okay nice let's move on we have a red panda right here in fact we have two red panda figures of the same type um, let's try to find it later on and here we have a dingo which is a wild dog and this one is actually an, a Bactrian camel. Nice one. And this is actually a giant ant eater. Okay. Let's put all of them um, nicely on the table over here. And this is a kangaroo. This is known as a tapir, or you can also pronounce it as tapir. This is a chimpanzee. Okay. Tasmanian Devil, there are some facts about this one right here, so let's take a look at it together. The future survivor of Tasmanian Devils is now seriously threatened by the Devil Facial Tumor Disease. Oh my goodness, hopefully, you know, we can still have plenty of Tas Tasmanian Devils um, in the future. Another kangaroo. A koala with a baby koala. Really adorable looking, I must say. Okay, let's see what else we've got. We have a llama right here. Seems like we have another. Oh, it's not a kangaroo. This is actually a yellow footed rock wallaby. Did you know the female carry young in a forward opening pouch for four to five weeks? Nice. Let's move on. And here we have a platypus. Okay. Let's see what else we've got. This is a brown bear. Yeah, grizzly bear, I think. Armadillo. I've actually seen armadillos before. I think some of them can curl themselves into like a protective ball to protect themselves from like predators. A fox right here. So fox are really intelligent animals. Another panda cop. The cassowary. 
The cassowary is a flightless bird. They're quite huge and they're known as descendants of the dinosaurs. We have some chicks right here. I think this should be in um, my farm animals collection. And here we have a proboscis monkey. You can see it has a very significant nose, which looks very huge and squishy at the same time. This is known as uh, a bandicoot. Let's see some facts about this. Alright, um, females generally give birth to two to three young who remain in the mother's backward facing pouch for less than 60 days. There is a bug, there's a pouch. That's cool. I didn't know that. And this one right here is actually known as an Ichidna. Let's read some facts about this um, you know, porcupine looking animal, shall we? Echidnas exist in two distinct forms, the long beak comprising of a number of species native to New Guinea and the short beak found in Australia. I think this is the long beak one if I'm not wrong. Pangolins. Pangolins can be found in um, Southeast Asia. They're quite rare to spot. And um, yeah, there's another one right here. Okay, it's actually quite hard to spot pangolin. And here we have a warthog, another chimpanzee figure, looks really beautiful. Another panda, <laughs> alright, we have plenty of pandas in our collection. And um, I think, what is this? Spider monkey. Yeah, you can see it has some um, very long limbs, long arms and long hands. With a coyote right here. Okay, beautiful coyote figure. This is actually known as the main wolf. It is actually the um, tallest member of the canine family. The main wolf's long legs makes it the tallest member of the canine family, which means that it is still a dog and um, it is the tallest form of dogs out there. We have a kangaroo. All right, um, what is the exact species of this kangaroo? see I think it could be a giant red kangaroo and here we have an arctic fox cool another one two red pandas seems like we have um three red pandas in total adorable looking and here we have a mandrill with a baby on top looks really adorable I must say And here we have a... what is this called? I've suddenly forgotten the name of this. Um, a meerkat. <laughs> That's right, a meerkat. I almost forgotten about it. I almost called this like a weasel. <laughs> it's a meerkat. <laughs> Alright, and this is a wolf. Beautiful wolf little figure. Yeah, I like, like this figure a lot. Another chimpanzee. This chimpanzee looks so adorable. Chimpanzees. They are like the closest rel relative to like the humans. Another tapir. This one is definitely um, way better looking than um, this one right here. And um, here we have an art rock. Yeah, I think art rock are really pecu peculiar animals. They have a nose that looks like a pig, and um, they have ears like that are like super long, um, like the rabbit, and they are quite small size as well. I have seen one at the zoo before, but I've never seen one like, you know, out in the open. Two panda, panda bear carps, and we have a wombat. Wombat, they look so adorable. I don't have much facts about this, but I know that they are native to Australia. There's one last figure inside, and um, it is actually a sloth. Alright, so this is basically our exotic animals collection. I've basically put all of them like, you know, um, in this box because they don't belong to like African animals or you know wildcats so they are all inside this box together alright thanks for watching this I'll see you guys in the next one goodbye